Hola, Tony. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Very good, I'm very good. How are you? Ready for uh, Making learning? Making salt caramel today, right? Uh, yes. Y mi compañero quiere aprender un poco how to make yeah. a sea salt caramel. And we're going to be making it so that you can make it at home and so that you can make it at uh, work like us. Yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. like us. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to have to get is... Vamos a agarrar la pan. <laughs> Vamos a darle una pequeña limpiada. Clean the pot very good because there's like uh, the caramel, that they need to clean the pot. Yeah, if there's any sort of particulate matter inside of... Uh, the caramel or like any dust at all, you're gonna have everything latch onto that crystallized and it's gonna ruin the entire creaminess of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me bring my scale. Okay, then I will lift the scale. Then it to be zeros and grams. So the first thing we add is the sugar at 2,040 grams. Mm -hmm. I like a recipe that starts with a lot of sugar. <laughs> mm -hmm. 2,040 grams. Okay. Oh no, this is yeah, for the sugar. Mm -hmm. Sea salt caramel. Mm -hmm. 200? So you're using about four of these giant scoopers? Uh, oh, more. <laughs> more? <laughs> a little bit out. Nice. Look at that, perfect. Next yes. is the corn syrup. Corn syrup? Uh -huh. Alrighty. Okay, <laughs> tenemos el corn syrup. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can you open it, Tony, por favor? I need it. mis músculos. Okay, no, I don't think so. I think maybe we need to run a little hot water. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, 936. Uh -huh. The measurements are really precise. You get a lot of faith in your Russia. <laughs> so why do you use corn syrup? I use corn syrup for the... Creamy it up a little mm -hmm. bit. Keep it from crystallizing. Yes. Ooh. Uh -uh. Ah. 940. Good. Okay. 940. Mm -hmm. Close it and... 940. 940. <laughs> uh -huh. 41. 41. Uh-huh. My caramelo. And I need water. And the water does like you don't need to measure. No, because you're boiling it off, right? Mm -hmm. uh. You need to first add the water. Sir, with stir, your hand, yes. Look, Tony, you need to move all the sugar, incorporate with the water, with the corn syrup, but you need to move the slow. You don't want all the sugar on the pad. So the biggest danger in caramel is that you're going to end up with the thing going from creamy to crystally, and it'll just shoot up through the entire way through, even from a single piece of dust, or uh, in this case, uh, a big clump of sugar or something. Mm -hmm. So it's going to form around that. So you have to make sure everything is totally incorporated. She even goes so far as to paint the sides with water so that you can make sure that nothing grows up mm -hmm. on the sides of it. There's zero burning on it, no allowable. And you notice she had a, like really, really, really precise measurements for all of the sugars uh, and all of the ingredients really so far. So you can have a great balance for it. But for the water, you're evaporating it off. So it would be impossible to get a proper measurement in the first place. So that's why she just paints the entire way through. It doesn't matter how much water you use, it's all coming up in, in the end. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ponerlo en la lumbre a cocinar. Okay, that is right. In high temperature? In, in high temperature. And as uh, you keep this uh, caramel, 300 uh, grams. Okay. That, like you uh, for probably 30 minutes. 30 minutes? 30, 30 or 35 minutes. Uh -huh. And uh, leave like, don't open it. The top on it. Yeah, the top on it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, that's like for 30 minutes, you need to check a little bit, like little bit, like uh -huh. the sugar is not crystallized. Dejamos esto aquí, aparte. Okay. Seguimos con la mantequilla, la crema y la sal. 
Ajá. Eh, todo esto lo vamos a tener listo Ajá. para cuando ya el caramelo es ready. Ajá. Vamos a hacer esto. Y aquí está el proceso, ¿ok? La sugar, Ajá. con syrup, Ajá. and I clean. Do not take the link of this. And you keep the lid on it so that that way all the water that's going to try and evaporate mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. cleans the sides Clean the of sides. the piece off so you never get anything bubbling over and mm -hmm. crystallizing. Genius. And I just like keep 300 Fahrenheit. 300 and, and it's the Fahrenheit, the, okay. And it's when the color of dark honey. Oh, you need to okay. like, uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you've got your ingredients boiling inside of here to get them all mixed together evenly, no clumps, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Water is going around the mm -hmm. outside of it. Keep it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And then that golden honey color. Vamos a, tenemos la de esta lista aquí. Vamos a uh, preparar la mantequilla, mm -hmm. la crema y la sal. Okay. Probablemente tengo la mantequilla aquí. Yo sí. Son, how many is in there? Eight? Eight. Eight. And you use organic on all your ingredients, huh? Mm -hmm. awesome. Yes. So you have eight sticks of butter there and five mm -hmm. of the cream packets. The cream is going to be 1,134 grams of cream, eight sticks of butter. Cream. Thank you, Tony. Of course. Cream. Necesitamos 11, 34 grams. Uh -huh. 34, okay. Uh, Tony is coming with my... Sea salt. Sea salt, okay. And I need 57 grams only for the sea salt. 57 grams sugar, or salt. 57 mm -hmm. grams salt. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to come up with this the oh. recipe? How long have you been working on this recipe? Oh, yo, yo y Tony, like... Like 15 years? 15, no, más. Más de 15 años. For 20 years? Estamos, ajá, sí. Been working on this recipe for 20 years. So you unwrap the butter before you use it? <laughs> <laughs> Necesita, sí. And the caramel, they give a time. They give a little bit of time to prepare everything. Let's uh -huh. like, make sure they have everything correct and uh, check all the recipe. As you're going through. Sí, more, uh -huh. more, more. Yeah. Si miras que ya está. Si oh, miras que el caramelo ya se está. Steaming Cor up on there. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Podemos cortarlo. And so you're cutting it just so it uh, uh, dissolves easier whenever you add it to mm -hmm. the, the Podemos the poner, y así es más fácil, más rápido. Uh -huh. Yeah, and like you just said, mm -hmm. fast is the, the caramel. El caramelo. Necesario. Sí. Okay, so we're for gonna the use ice creams. this one to make the caramel for the caramel ice cream mm -hmm. when we add it to the base, and we're going to use it for the caramel the sauce. sauce. Uh huh. The awesome. caramel okay. sauce. Mm -hmm. The caramel is very popular in here. That's yeah, our most popular mm -hmm. one is the mm -hmm. sea salt caramel. The sea salt caramel. You yeah. make the sea salt caramel bonbon, mm -hmm. sea salt caramel ice cream, mm -hmm. sea salt caramel sauce, sea salt caramel cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the cake. Mm -hmm. It's addictive, huh? Butter, sugar, salt, mm -hmm. cream. And how yeah. do you tell when it's starting to get ready to uh, to open the lid? There's like, uh, past like 20 minutes. Past 20 minutes, then you open it. You open it, uh -huh. and see there's like, if you still, the color is not a dark honey. Dark honey. Mm -hmm. But always keep this uh, 300 Fahrenheit. Okay. See me that, Tony? Oh, beautiful. Pero todavía le falta unos 15 minutos más. Okay. Porque todavía el color. You've been doing this so long, you don't... can tell just by looking at it how much more time it needs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and leave uh, leave an... it closed. Uh -huh, closed. Okay. Another 15 minutes, and it's like, it's like, don't open, open it, and open, open up. Because uh -huh. you're going to let all the temperature out, huh? Yes. Okay. Because the steam can, so you don't want to latch it on to there because no steam can escape. So mm -hmm. you just want a little bit of steam to escape slowly, slowly. Okay. Y necesitamos una espátula. Okay, the spatula, and we need the el guante. spatula, right? Yes, we need the guante, uh -huh. grande, para... 
podemos. Tenemos que usar este guante. Este guante. Necesito, no necesito mi guante cuando le ponga la mantequilla porque se va a venir el yeah, vapor. Sí, yeah. so this uh, mixture here is uh, sugar and some water inside of it, but because it's at 300 degrees already, uh, it means that any time that we add any water to it, because it's already above that, it's going to erupt in a real, real huge violent thing. That's why you saw us only raise up all the ingredients to about there-ish, uh, because we want all of this space for that expansion to be able to happen. Here's the caramel. Sí, podemos usar rosemary caramel. Okay. And uh, brown butter caramel too. Okay, so this is more like a base that you start with. So base. that you can uh -huh. make. Okay, that makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense then. So yeah, you can make the rosemary and you can make the brown mm -hmm. butter off of it. Brown butter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listo. Okay, dokie, dokie. Okay, I'm Tony. Get out of your way because you're the expert. Okay, Tony, can uh -huh. you help me to add the butter in right here? It's like oh, yeah. slow, slow. And you're gonna slowly add that on top of there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm scared. No. No, don't be scared. <laughs> Tony. You're a lot braver than I am, Rosie. <laughs> si miras, the butter is almost like melting fast oh because gosh, the sugar so is too. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Rosie, oh, that's so cool. Last two. And so how long do you usually have to stir this for? That's like when um, the butter has uh, melt. Oh, that's it. You uh -huh. just have to see whenever. Okay. Uh -huh. When the butter has melt, you can add the cream. Cream. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Ready, 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 ready. Oh. Okay. You heard the pasta? Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! <laughs> you see, I'm scared. You're braver than me on this one. <laughs> That's like you need like slow added. Slow, yeah. We're gonna add the salt, salt. now. Okay. And it's and it's listo. Mm -hmm. one like one hour the pot in here and you see it's more dark when it's uh, done. Okay. Why is that happening? Because it's like says how cool there's mm -hmm. more air bubbles inside there mm -hmm. so it darkens up. So you just leave it for an hour to sit. Mm -hmm. You put it in the fridge or you just no, leave it? No, no, no. Because it's gonna cool too fast to put mm -hmm. it in the fridge. No, leave it in there. I need to make the sea salt sauce. The sea salt sauce? But okay. I need a uh, ice. Ice. You can bring me the ice too. Okay. And uh, the gelatines, leave in. Ice for the. For the sea salt. Sea salt caramel mm -hmm. sauce mm -hmm. and gelatin as well. Gelatin. I can do both those things. See? Okay. And you can bring me the squeezy bottles. Squeezy bottles. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, the ice, mm -hmm. and I need um, five sheets or gelatin. Five sheets, of gelatin. yes. The, and the recipe say five. Okay. Okay. Yes. Underneath. 
two of them here. Yeah. And why do you use ice water? They, they melt fast the uh, gelatin. Keep it from See, uh -huh. And five. Five, okay. Wait for this, like, it's soft. A little bit, leave it there. Leave it like a couple minutes. Okay. So. Tenemos listo el caramelo. Tenemos listo el uh, gelatin. Okay. Okay. Si miras, Tony, you saw the gelatin? Like, soft. You saw the gelatin? It's like... Almost... Yeah, and then I melted it all because you got the ice in there, huh? Mm-hmm. Really? And when you add, add it in the... In the caramel, uh -huh. it's like you need to squeeze very, squeeze, very squeeze, good squeeze. the water. To keep all the water mm -hmm. out of it? Uh-huh. Okay. I need one full container. There's one like full one full container. Uh-huh. Okay. Container is this one. Okay. I'm not measure. I'm nothing. That's only for... Oh, just even... Here. Okay. And I put it in here. I need a full quart container. Uh huh. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. That was okay. Like, okay. I need to put it in here. Wait, wait, wait. So, so. You need to like heat a little bit. Okay. Heat a little bit. A little bit. You do everything on high heat, mm -hmm. huh? I'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Start to. Over here. But you make these ones today, there's only like a heat little bit and okay. you can add the gelatin. So it doesn't have to be hot, it just has to be a little bit warm? Uh, let's see. Okay, so you warm it up in the pot a little bit. Mm-hmm. Squeeze out all the water. And add it in here. Okay. See, it's no, no. And then you add all five and of the sheets. And the gelatin is like more, um, when you add in the sisal, there's like more like, it's, Stick. Uh, mm -hmm. Helps Chito? stick onto the ice uh -huh. cream too when it's cold instead of just okay. turning into a big icy blob. Here, I'm gonna steal but this, from you. this one is done. The, <laughs> the sauce. And done. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hemos terminado esta sauce de piso caramel. The gelatin melts fast. Uh huh. Ooh. Perfect. Listo. Ready for the ice cream. <laughs> it's strawberry. Strawberry jam. It's strawberry. Okay. You can make it in your home. Strawberry, raspberry, okay. all kind of gems. All kinds of gems. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. So this but one's a lot like I the make same one. <laughs> okay, uh, I need uh, a strawberry puree. Strawberry puree, done. And sugar. How many does she need? One kilogram. What a coincidence. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why you have like this on. You need to melt in a little bit okay. this one. Okay. And I put it in the microwave to melt. Just give it a little heat. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I need the whole uh, puree. Oh yeah, this one is delicioso. Okay, where's the scale? Least the scale. Okay, let's put it here. I need four grams. Zero. Zero. Okay, Tony, can you add six hundred and three grams? Six hundred. That's like big scoop. A big scoop? Uh huh. Can you say how much? 603 grams. 600. I know how to do that. I can count. <laughs> that's why I say it's like big scoop. Big scoop. Yeah, Even sugar. more, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, know. I only put a medium scoop in there. <laughs> okay, let's see. And a little bit more. You can make it in home, this one that's like if you want to low a little bit of sugar or more uh, puree, that's okay. good, yeah. And if you want to make your own puree at home, you just put fruit in a blender with some mm -hmm. sugar? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but you need to boil but it. You can use any of them. Yeah, you need to boil it. This one is like probably like uh huh, uh, probably like uh, another 15 minutes. Okay. You need to stir, stir like make a jam. Okay. Make this a jam. Uh huh. You see the raspberry? There's like oh, boiling beautiful, a lot. Beautiful, beautiful. Fresas. Fresas. You need to keep the ice to the jam because it's like boiling a lot. Uh -huh. It's like you need to like stir, stir, oh, stir a little so bit. Gorgeous. I love the smell. I the, know. Uh -huh, oh my smell. god, it's so good. Mm -hmm. How can you tell when it's ready? Uh, when it's like, you see that it's not boiling a lot and it's like almost uh, thicky. Thick? Uh huh, thick. Oh, sí, pero todavía. So when the still boiling liquid, slows still down. Liquid, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Still in liquid and it's like, keep like, move, stir, stir, stir. Keep moving, stir, so it doesn't burn. Mm -hmm. Is this one crystallized too, or just burns? This burns. Just burns. No, 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 crystallized. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh gosh! This See, there's like almost uh, liquid. All the oh, it's strawberry. Gorgeous. Together with the sugar. Yeah, just mm -hmm. like you said, it's a lot darker. It's a lot thicker. Uh -huh. Bubbles are moving way slower. And you have done the strawberry jam. And the strawberry jam is done. Mm -hmm. Sugar, puree, See? that's it. That's it. <laughs>
And then you need to put 170, 170. grams. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I know you're scaring me. Oh, oh my god, you're gonna make me mess it up. Uh, <laughs> 170 on the dot. Look at me. I can measure stuff. Okay, I add to the hot fudge. I turn it on the machine, and you can add it in here. And Antonio, I need uh, one teaspoon of the... Oh, I got it right over here. Tablita, tablet, Trablet. the extra Trablet. coffee. Okay. I'm gonna dip this guy in here. This is a half teaspoon. Yes, please. One. I'm using one and a half teaspoons, so I'm gonna do three of them. Two. Otra vez. Y qué rico huele el café, eh? Es extracto de café. Yeah, drink it. No. Probablemente tú. It's basically like espresso to espresso. Uh huh. Sí. Espresso to espresso. Okay. And then the same thing. Sí. Puedes hacerlo, Tony. I love these easy recipes. Put this in here. Heat it up. You're good. Done. Done. Mhm. Estamos listos. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. I know how to pour stuff. <laughs> Pouring stuff for yours. Oh, I can't believe I'm getting this. Uh, cafe. Yeah. Oh, one little bit. Okay. That's okay. One little bit. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You see the muscles? <laughs> I know. Oh my God, Rosie. I can't believe you do this every day. Already my hands are shaking. I'm trying to. Not... Okay, let's see if I can get that really cool finish that you did last time and stop it right at the right point. Uh huh. See. Yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Last second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here Pero we go. Está listo. And then. I got it, Tony. You got it? Sí. She's already ready. Let's mm -hmm. go. I did it. Listo. Hot pie. Okay. And Cinco. that finishes the sauces. Hola. So today we're going to be making a neutral base ice cream. So, and then from this ice cream base, we're going to make three flavors. Your spatula, lavender, sea and salt the sea salt caramel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and start. So we're going to have our heavy cream, which is three quarts of heavy cream. Um, 1.5 quarts of full milk. Two pounds of ice cream and one tablespoon of vanilla. And all these ingredients is organic. Yes, everything's organic. Also, we have our egg yolks. We will only be using the egg yolk, which is 36 egg yolks. Okay. So, now we're gonna uh, put all of the ingredients in the pot. Okay, so you wanna put all of your, um, all of your heavy cream in. ¿Cuál es tu favorita nieve? Sea salt and pistachio. You not try the new one? The butter pecan? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. It's really good. <laughs> but my favorite one's still um, sea, sea salt, salt and, and pistachio. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add all of our milk. And this is one quart and a half. You mix all these ingredients and uh, for how long you need like boil it? You need to, uh, just as soon as it starts boiling, mm -hmm. you're going to temper it into the egg yolks. Mm -hmm. And then going to um, let it sit to room mm -hmm. temperature. So don't put it directly in the fridge. You're going to let it sit. So here goes our sugar. How many grams of sugar? It's two pounds. Two pounds? Yes. Oh, okay. Which is 4.5 cups. Oh. Put it all in there. Now we're going to add our that? vanilla. We need one tablespoon. Una. Una. Like you eat espresso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we it's go. It's like the Tony 
mucho espresso. Mucho espresso. So this is our um, vanilla beans. Our vanilla. So now we're gonna turn it on on the highest. 400. Just 400 Fahrenheit. Okay. We're gonna stir it up a little bit, and then we're gonna let that boil. While that boils, we're going to prep our egg yolks. So now we're gonna crack open all of our eggs. We're only going to be using our egg yolk, so we're gonna save the egg whites on the side. Okay, you have this one. Huevos, huevos, ¿verdad? Huevos, huevos. The mixture is already boiling. Well, as soon as it starts boiling, you want to turn it off and then you're going to start tampering it into your egg yolk. So, mix that in. Slowly, you don't want to pour too much at a time because then you will cook I your egg I can help yolks. you to move. Okay, I can help you. Fast. Okay, that's right. A little bit more. Uh huh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour everything in there. Mix it a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Now we're still. This is off, but we're gonna pour back in here before we put it back in the. Okay. In the containers. Done. One uh, neutral base has two, three ice creams, right? Three. Mm -hmm. Okay, three of them. So. so this is a chinois. The strainer has bigger holes. The chinois has really um, small holes. It just lets the um, ice cream or any liquid go through without um, any eggs, egg or anything that you have in there. So you're done, you're gonna put this in the fridge right after it cools off. You do not want to put it directly on the fridge because that would make it um, curdle a little bit from the top. So we're just gonna let it um, cool off to room temperature and then we're gonna churn it. So that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and churn our ice cream. This is, we're gonna be making the sea salt caramel. And this has been sitting in the fridge for at least three to four hours. You just want to make sure it's really cold. Okay, so we have our plain base. We're just going to be using one third of the mix. So we're going to throw it in the machine. If you don't have machine and phone, why do you think recommend? So if you don't have a machine at home, you can do it with um, ice. The ice and salt, okay. mm -hmm. but it's better if you buy a machine, you know, <laughs> and it's quicker too. It only Usually. lasts 15 minutes on here, so we're gonna put it on there for 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid and it's gonna start mixing. Okay. Wait for 15 minutes, yes, you can just leave it on there. If you have anything else to do, um, just put your timer on, and this is gonna be turning. Okay. okay, so our ice cream is almost ready. So you don't want it to be um, too hard, you want it a little bit soft. So we're gonna turn it off, and then this is how you want it. You see, it's still really soft. You do not wanna, you don't want it any softer than this. 
Oh, so it can still hold, but it's soft. You don't want to mix it too much because when you mix too much, you separate the fat, and then that makes it um, just have like a little bit of um, like a little bit of uh, crumbles, which you don't want. That you want it really soft and creamy. So we're gonna add our um, caramel to this one. Okay, and you can see the consistency of it. It's really soft. Delicioso. And you can make a lot of uh, different flavors, right? With this base? Yeah, so with this base, um, we picked the caramel, the lavender, and then some of the, the um, You the can make the strawberry too? Yeah, you can make strawberry on here. If you like Oreo, you can add Oreos, pecans. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the flavor that you like. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I can add a little, little bit more. You can bring me the spatula. Yeah, the one. You need to. There you go. Thank you. I can add a little bit of. And that's for to go. Okay, then I'm going to make our second one. This one's going to be the. Lavender and the lavender oil, they, they need to use a little bit, right, Yoselin? Yeah, you just need a little bit. So, you, you're gonna start with a few drops at a time, and then you want to add, yes, so it's an oil. So, you're just gonna grab a little toothpick if you have one, and then you're gonna do a little couple drops in there. Two, three, four, uh -huh. then you can just smell it in the same. Little tip that you can mix it around, and they they taste very good. Yes. They taste like delicious. So and I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more ice cream and do the same thing. And, and right now for the summer, they There's a refreshing. Refresh. And I'm gonna mix. Also, you can add color to this. We don't like to add any color to any of our ice cream, but you can add color if you wish to. Okay. Lavender. <laughs> yeah, you can add like, like a little lavender color. Okay. Está listo para la fridge. Okay, now I'm gonna do our last flavor. That one's gonna be stracciatella. The stracciatella is the last, right? Yes. Okay, let me take this one because you know wants to another flavor and. It's 62% chocolate, and we just cut it a little bit into pieces. And we're just gonna add a little bit, put it in our mix. That's that 62%, percent you Yes. Mm -hmm. Why you not use milk chocolate? Um, we like our dark chocolate. It just balances out the flavor in these. You're gonna mix it a little bit. You don't wanna mix it too much. Now you can mix again. You want more? Uh, yes. Can I get a little bit more chocolate? Uh -huh. Sure. How many you need? A little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Little bit. Mm. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Mm. Okay. So that's it. Our ice cream is done. We're just going to put it back in the fridge for about two hours. We forgot to try it, but ah. you always try your ice cream. Vamos a hacer una banana split con esto. Oh, yeah. Let's mm -hmm. go to make a banana split and you can enjoy. Yep. I make the almond espresso crumble. And uh, my ingredients is sugar, 460 grams, butter, uh, the, the butter that needs to room temper. And I need 456 grams, that's like four sticks. And I need almonds, 920 grams, flour, and espresso beans. And uh, let's go make this tray. Okay. Okay, 920 grams. 
How many flavors I have for this one, this one? Two. We Two? have cinnamon walnut and almond espresso. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, here's the, the beans. And I need uh, 80 grams of beans. Como se dice? Coffee beans. <laughs> Mix a little bit. And I need flour. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay, and here I add the sugar. And the flour. Okay. And I always use organic flowers. Organic and big all-purpose flour. Mm-hmm. Mix with uh, sugar. And the uh, flour. And I need to put it this one in the oven, like how long? Right now, it's like to melt them. The yeah, butter 10 uh -huh. minutes and then um, from those 10 to 5. When I need to mix the almonds and the espresso. Right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I Before need to... Before you add it to the sugar and the But and I the need flour. to blend it a little bit or yes. I can just... No, blend, blend it a little bit, yeah. Okay, let me bring the blender. You need to put it in the blender because they need to, uh, you know, once the whole almond and the espresso. Little bit of noise. <laughs> you know, wants to chunk all the almonds, so there's like a little bit only. And then you to this in the oven like 20 minutes. Because you need the, the almond uh, toasted and the espresso. And the butter, they need to melt it all to the flavor. And I have ready the oven. It's 325 grams. And let's go to put it in there. They need to be 10 minutes and mix it and another two minutes. Again, when the almonds is toasted, it's done. 10 minutes and wait for, wait for the almonds and the butter is incorporated. Okay, so now we're gonna check our almond espresso crumble. It's been in there for 10 minutes. So now we're gonna check on it, mix it up a little bit. Okay. We just want to mix it up really good. Okay, and we're going to throw it in another five minutes. So now we're gonna pull it out the oven. It's been in there another five minutes. Okay, it's ready. I think you can see it has that nice brown color. I'm right, gonna move it a little bit, but it's ready. You're gonna let that cool, and then you can now go on and do something else. Okay. Let's go finish the ice creams. Finish with a, make a banana split. 
Okay, let's go cut the bananas. And I need to cost an and I have two customers to taste this. Bananas. Banana, banana. Okay. Okay, so no. we're gonna open up our brown sugar packages. Use raw brown sugar. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna wanna cut your banana diagonally. And I cut a little bit of strawberries. I really clean it. I want to put it in the banana split fresh strawberries to give more flavor for the strawberry sauce. Okay, that's okay. done. Here we go, we have our bananas ready. Okay. You can do okay, that. Now yes. we're gonna torch them. It smells really good. Now the sugar with the banana to get in there. Mm -mm -mm. I have in here my almond and espresso crumbs, and I need to put it in here. I need to Jocelyn put the, the ice cream, the stratachella, and the stratachella, and the uh, lavender. And the sea salt, sea salt caramel. Sea salt caramel. Okay, you can you scoop one scoop here, and I scoop another one. Ooh, look at that, Jocelyn. <laughs> look the color for the sapochella. Yeah, chips. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop out a, a little scoop of the sea salt caramel. <laughs> a lot on there. <laughs> you can share this. <laughs> or also you can have it alone. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, I'll do a small one. A too. small one, see. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Sea salt. Sea salt. Okay, let's go to take one and the lavender. I want to put a little bit of banana. Wow, I think everybody wants to come in here, Jocelyn, to chocolate secret to taste this. Banana split. Uh-huh. Mm. I will put a little bit of strawberries fresh on the top. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See Jocelyn? Bananas. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that that I know. And you see all the sauces sauce ready to make in the morning. Okay, you need to add a little bit of sea salt. Wow. Mm -hmm. A little bit of strawberry. Wow. Good. Mm -hmm. Ready. 